Alright, so this is a little bit of a different intro. I'm here at the Newark Airport. I'm about to fly back to Syracuse. I just passed by this duty free over here. And they had a bottle of Bulgari Aqua Electric 50 mil for 66 bucks. Which nowadays is actually a really good price. Right here. So they have, right there, they have a 50 mil. I got just enough money to get it um, comfortably. I'm gonna look around, but I think I found something I wanna grab. All right, hey everybody. So I'm back here in Syracuse. Just literally landed a couple hours ago, finished unpacking. I found a discontinued fragrance at a duty free. This is the first time I've ever bought a fragrance from a duty free, and it's Bulgari Aqua Electric. This has been hyped to death for quite a while. Um, let's see. We got a badge code in the back somewhere there. I don't know what's at the bottom. Uh, nothing at the bottom. So I'm assuming this is a 2021 batch. It's only a 50 mil. I got a 50 mil for 66 bucks. I've seen a lot worse. And I'm unboxing right now. I've noticed that... Aqua, Atlantique, and Amada are very, very expensive. Those are the two main discontinued ones, as well as the tonic flankers. The tonic flankers are also discontinued. Those are also kind of expensive. Uh, basic box, nothing fancy. Um, I, I bought a tester, so I've never had an unboxing experience from Bulgari. Because it is that little pebble style box, I'm assuming I have to open it from the front. Wanna open it from the back? Oh, okay. Here. Yeah. yeah, the I I'm not the biggest fan of the bottle style. Like it's unique, but the main drawback of the pebble style bottle that Bulgari, the Aqua line in particular, is very well known for is just it's just hard to store. It takes up a lot of surface area compared to a lot of other fragrance bottles. How in the world am I gonna break this son of a bitch open? All right, I'm just gonna open it from the back again and then take it out. Then it takes some time to get used to. Uh, let's see. Here, yeah, I, I'm destroying the box at this point. It's fine. Oh, oh, you whoopsies. It's gonna kind of suck because I have two, um, or I have the 100 milliliter tester of Amada, and I have a 50 mil of Atlantique. It's probably all I'm ever gonna need, but if I ever get them together, it's gonna be a very interesting. Uh, it's gonna look different. Uh, how how did I do this? Uh, we'll just I'll deal with the box later. So here's the bottle. This is Aqua Atlantique. It's supposed to be like a Dylan Blue. And I haven't smelled Dylan Blue in a really long time. I actually... There was Dylan Blue over there. And I did not think about comparing the two. Batch code, everything on the bottom in case you missed it. Atomizer's always built in the top of the little pebble. The silver part of the pebble. Uh, this wasn't necessarily my biggest target when I first started my journey. Because you could find these easy for... 40 to 50 bucks testers were going for around 40 bucks for 100 mils full presentation nowadays un unsealed they're going for quite a bit of money nowadays because it is discontinued like i mentioned aqua mara aqua atlantic um aqua porom tonic aqua marine tonic there are a few of them discontinued sought after by certain people let's see how this looks and sprays uh decent atomizer oh really aquatic very aquatic okay so one of the reasons why i did not want to get this fragrance a lot of people talked about it smelling like rotten eggs and that really put me off i wanted to 
get some time to get used to other fragrances before trying this because of that rotten egg smell. And the air, it's really aquatic though. I like it a lot. Okay, this might this will be my scent of the day. Yeah, this will be my scent of the day. I like this smell a lot. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a herbal touch too, and um, it leaked. By the way, I bought when I I flew from New Jersey out here to Syracuse, so bottle kind of leaked with the pressure building up. Yeah, this smells pretty good. I like this a lot. Yeah, this is really aquatic. At least in the opening, really aquatic. You do... I think you need to give it a little bit of time, though. A little bit herbal. I'm assuming it's... There's like a seaweed accord somewhere here. Really good, though. I really enjoy it. So far, so good. I did not expect anything groundbreaking, but I expected something really... And like in the name, Aqua Atlantic, really aquatic, oceanic almost. Amara doesn't really lean into the aquatic aspect of the Bulgari Aqua Porom line. It's more incense and uh, I think bitter orange or dirty orange, whatever that note is. More so centered towards that. That in itself smells fantastic, but it didn't really give me that aquatic kick that I've been looking for for quite a while. I don't really have too many aquatics in my collection. I have a couple. Um, first thing that comes to my mind is uh, Original Penguin Premium Blend. That reminds me of being by the poolside. Um, there's a couple other fragrances that I can't think of at the top of my head. That reminds me of being like at the ocean on the beach, you know. So something like Aqua Atlantique kind of scratches that itch for me. And so far, I really like it. It's not the most unique thing. There's a lot more unique things out there. The only reason, one of the main reasons why I bought it now is because it is discontinued. I'm kind of a discontinued fragrance junkie. Yeah, it's pretty good though. I like it. Um, I'll come back for the dry down and I'll give you my final first impressions. Back on to topic at hand in Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. Um, when I compare it or yeah, when I compare it to something like aqua amara very different i have not got my nose on the original aqua porom i don't know what aqua marine smells like but this one this one's actually pretty good i like this one a lot um i kind of don't like the fact i took a lot of people's words for the rotten egg smell because that does happen with some people apparently ambergris has been known to give off a rotten egg smell type of aroma off of some people's skin which is actually kind of unfortunate because the ambergris in here I'm pretty sure it's ambroxan i don't think it's real ambergris if it is that's cool but it adds a little bit of a salty nature to the fragrance c notes is also one of the main notes here very aquatic very marine like this reminds me of the ocean not a lot of fragrances have reminded me of the ocean but Aqua Atlantic reminds me of the ocean. Granted, I've never been in the Atlantic Ocean, so I can't I can't tell you if it smells like the Atlantic, but this reminds me of being in California, Darkweiler, Santa Monica. I don't know about like Malibu or Pacific Palisades, but it reminds me of the beach a lot and I really appreciate it for that. I had to respray it again after I hopped out the shower because I worked out after the first time I sprayed it on and I could not get the dry down. I was not looking at the dry down at that time, which is my fault. So there is that. I'll just clear that up. So this is technically like my second wear in the same day because I showered. Obviously, it's 1230 a.m. January the 18th when I'm shooting this half of the video. I could see how this got discontinued if it didn't really sell well if that's the reason why then understandable but it does smell really nice i really do like the scent profile nothing unique nothing overtly different but what it does it does well and this conveys the smell of the ocean pretty well synthetic sure is it headache inducing at least for me no it's quite pleasant not 
the smoothest thing I've smelled, but definitely no type of harsh, rough edges. Uh, I have to look at the note breakdown. I know, I think seaweed is also a note in here too. But yeah, this is really, really good. I do think that it's worth it if you could find a fair price. And for me, honestly, I wouldn't pay more than 70 bucks for this little 50 ml. So price is about spot on. I would say had I had no had I been courageous enough to buy it before, I probably wouldn't have bought a 50 ml for 66 bucks. But because I didn't have it and because it's something that's really hard to find nowadays, I decided to jump on it. I do like it though, I really do. If you're starting to collect some fragrances, this is one of those fragrances I could recommend you at least try if you can. It is discontinued nowadays, so it is going to be harder to find. So even though the scent profile in itself isn't really all that unique per se, it will become a collector's item because it is no longer in production. That's pretty much where the value for it is nowadays is that this is just hard to find. I don't know what's going on in the fragrance world and the fragrance market, but a lot of solid fragrances are being discontinued. Unfortunate that they are, but when you get them while you can, just get them while you can. You may regret it, especially if you're somebody into discontinued or hard to find fragrances. This is one worth checking out in my opinion. And actually i'll spray my i'll spray my arm one more time just to get like get an idea yeah very it it does tend to get a little darker in the base i'm starting to get the base around because i sprayed on my neck and my triceps so it is darker right now the brand new spray i just sprayed it's really fresh and aquatic i like it a lot it, it's a very likable scent I was able to smell it outside when I was running errands because I did land it to Syracuse today. Missed my classes because I landed too late. But yeah, I was even it was about I want to say maybe like 35, 34 degrees outside today below freezing at one point. I could actually smell aqua. I keep saying aqua mara, aqua atlantic and for a freshie for an aquatic that is really impressive very impressive so so far it seems like performance is going to be pretty solid i can't imagine how long this is going to last in the summertime i can't wait to bring this back home because this is a fragrance i'm bringing back to california anybody that lives nearby the ocean or a big body of water salt water in particular it's actually a good idea to at least try this and see for yourself if it works for you or not. It's working for me right now. I really like it. So take it for what you will. Hopefully you like the first impression video. And also I have a little tease about another discontinued fragrance that I do have coming in. Not a full bottle, but it is like, I guess, a travel spray, if you want to call it that, an official like miniature bottle which is coming in in a few days. I cannot wait to try that. It's a fragrance I've been dying to get my hands on. And I finally pulled the trigger on it. This was a little bit impulsive, but not really because I'd always been interested about Aqua Atlantic. A lot of people praised it, and then there were people out there that really shat on it, which kind of deterred me. So I was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. I just bit the bullet, got it, and you know what? Even though I paid, I guess this is retail, 66 bucks for 50 mil, I'm not that mad at paying it. I would probably pay it again if I was running low on the juice because right now I, I really like it. I really do. And if you have Aqua Atlantic or any other of the Bulgari Aqua Boron fragrances, I have Aqua Mara. I've put that in a couple of my videos in the past so go check out my videos somewhere in my channel i do talk about them in a couple of lists but until then i'll see you in the next one